Hello my friends, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. I'm just switching out my water because I forgot to do so before I hit record. Uh, so we're going to be painting like a beautiful field, daisy field. This is inspired by Mako Chino. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to be doing a lot of wet and wet on wet. I believe. So I'm going to take sky blue. I don't know if that's the actual name of it, so don't get hung up on the name because I don't have the names in front of me. But uh, it looks like sky blue to me, and I'm painting that on, I would say, like the top third of my piece of paper in landscape position. My blue has a little bit of green in it as per custom. Um, maybe it's more, it's almost like I painted it on half, which is fine, but then I'm going to take like a, a very light green, almost yellow. Um, actually I will take yellow and just paint it at the top and then we'll transition into a lime green. Connect it to the blue there. Okay, and then uh, like I said, I'm going to continue with the lime green and then I'm going to transition it into a darker green, less lime, and then an even darker one until I get to a nice dark green at the very bottom here. Just gonna have to adjust the gradient a little bit. Oops, I did not even record that. I should probably zoom out a little bit when I'm doing this. Uh, okay, I want it to be even darker than that, so I'm gonna pick up black, just add the black in there, and then it'll mix in. Like so. And then I can gradient it out. That took over a little bit more than I wanted it to. But anyway. So uh, what am I going to do now? I want to first of all pick up some of this color. Um, I'm going to just switch out my water again because it turned completely green and I'm going to need fresh water in order to pick up the um, blue from the sky because I want to make clouds by picking up the blue. So I'm dabbing a clean brush into my blue and picking up some of the pigment. And I mean, clouds have never been my forte, so I don't know how some people make them look super, super realistic. I'm just taking toilet paper even here and dabbing it in the center of these guys to pick up as much of the pigment as I can in the center to make it look nice and bright and white. And the more you press, obviously, the more you're gonna pick up. So you can adjust how hard you're pressing and it'll pick up more or less. So you can soften um, the edges a bit. Sort of like that. It's good enough for me. And I mean that in a nice way because someone once got upset that I said it's good enough. They're like, what's the point of you painting if it's just good enough? 
I, I just say things, guys. I don't always, like, mean things. Um, don't, don't you just say things sometimes? Anyway, I'm mixing black with green, and I'm going to make my horizon, I guess, here. And it's going to be a series of bushes. So my horizon is going to go all the way across. So I want that thin line all the way across. But it's going to taper out on the edges, both up and down. Um, like so. And I want it to be way darker than that. So I'm going to take my black and a little bit of green and what not like that i didn't want it to be so dark but that's okay we can we can leave it that way and i do want dark um, features coming from the bottom here because I'm going to be painting uh, daisies and I want them to have a nice dark background to contrast against and I mean if you're not using watercolor then that's irrelevant because uh, if you're using gouache or acrylic then you can very opaquely paint different colors over top and it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just switching to a thinner brush here so that I can add some more fine lines, although that's not really relevant. That's okay. I don't like how these are sticking out the way they are. Like I wanted this to be a much more gentle transition than it turned out looking like. And I don't want to cauliflower it by trying to erase this. Okay, I think that I'm going to let this dry before we add our details on. So this should be dry and I'm looking at the reference and I realize I should have made this bottom almost black. And it's, I feel like it's a little too late to do that because it's all dry now. Um, like I can try and have little grassy strands coming out here to make it a little bit darker, but that is an error on my part. I'm still going to try and make this darker. Add black. I'm going to try and fade that out in a way that looks natural. So I, I'm kind of dry brushing it almost on in a gradient kind of way. And then having those little grassy strands peeking out might help now 
now. I'm gonna take white watercolor, sorry, white acrylic paint, because my watercolor is very opaque, but I want very, very, very opaque for this. So I have taken acrylic paint and I'm gonna paint uh, little daisies in the distance here. So little round blotches like so. And these round blotches are just, it might be easier to try and splatter them now that I think about it. So I'm going to pick up the white watercolor. I'm going to water it down so that it's splatterable and just kind of tapping it against another brush. It splatters on a good amount of daisies for us. And my issue is that this was not dry. Isn't that always my issue? Ay, 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 Julia. So I'm going to let that dry before I do anything else to this. So that should be dry now. And we can paint the daisies that are closer up. We can paint them a lot more detailed. So we can actually have all of the little petals coming uh, towards the center. Like so. I'll add the little yellow center in a moment. And to make the perspective make more sense, just ensure that your daisies that are the lowest, which are supposed to be closest to the viewer, are also the largest. So make the petals longer and thicker and whatnot. Okay, I am going to do that splatter thing again because now that my background is actually dry, it shouldn't, it, the splatters should be a lot cleaner, they won't spread out as much, like so, and I'm also going to add my yellow centers using watercolor. You can use acrylic though. It might make sense for you to use acrylic. I've got green in my yellow watercolor.
and I'm just adding some yellow dots as well. There could be other little flowers growing in the background. And actually, I'm also going to add um, like a, a splatter of pink flowers. that makes it look very springy very feel like you're in a flower field and I think I'm gonna leave it at that I'm kind of tempted to add a branch or something because this top part looks really empty um, let me just see if I add a little branch brown mixed with black or maybe like a gray would look nice just kind of stretching This maybe could be a cherry blossom. I wish I didn't add that, if I'm going to be honest. It, it just does not make sense for there to be a random branch on a daisy field. But I'm going to try and salvage this by making it a cherry blossom and adding little um, flowers, blossoms or whatnot to the tree. I'm going to grab um, white watercolor, or sorry, acrylic paint, and just add little white dots next to the pink. Maybe it'd be better if I added yellow, actually. I'm tempted to... Kind of draw this out, draw the blossoms out. So I'm applying a very damp, sorry, a slightly damp paintbrush to these blossoms to kind of make them a little bit more full. Oh man, I really wish I didn't add that. It really kind of disrupts the background for me, but Kind of hard to fix that. Usually I can cover mistakes up, but this one is challenging. I'm gonna take some silver, uh, silver watercolor paint and just apply it to the um, the branches it themselves. Might cover up some of the brown of the branch and make it less noticeable.
So that may have helped a little bit, but I'm going to leave it at that before I add anything else and make it worse. Um, so peel that tape off around your edges if you put some there. And there we have just a simple daisy field. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments, maybe what you would have done differently. And uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.